Jason, hey man, I've seen lots of stuff that you've made in X shape, of course, and it's got to be one of my favorite parts of SolidWorks X design for makers. But honestly, I'm not sure how to get started in X shape myself. Oh, Todd, lucky for you. I absolutely love showing people exactly what's possible inside X shape. Uh, it's my favorite tool whenever I need to model something organic or complex, and it's a lot of fun to use. So check it out. Uh, let's open up your file, which it looks awesome so far. And let's just add to it and get this topper into this trophy. That's perfect. Um, and it's cool that we can take the X design model and then mix that with X shape modeling. So let's do it. All right. So check this out. I'm inside X design and I really want to just make a dog bowl. Okay. So I got a quick sketch here. Come down to the feature. And I'm just going to do a simple revolve. Okay. Yeah, before we get into the subdivision modeling in X shape, we want to use the right tool for the job here. And a revolve is perfect for this. Got a dog bowl, made it red. Now I'm going to insert a new order geometrical set. And this is where our puppet dog is going to be. So to get into X shape, it's all right here inside X design. I just select the subdivision tab. And then I love to use a box as my sub D's. Okay, 99% of the time I do that. I just, I really like a box. It's symmetrical. It's easy to work with. And, you know, I just enjoy modeling with it. So this is where I can add more edge loops, more definition. But I like to start off my model with real simple, clean lines and add more definition as I need it. I select mid plane. And this is basically my sub D right here. Okay, that is another interesting sort of tip or starting point is that you want to use as few edge loops as you really need to get started because you're going to add them later as 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 we'll see right so the next thing i do is i apply symmetry okay and select the plane now whatever i do to one side it's going to do the other i don't want to have to model this dog both 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 sides you know what i mean so mm -hmm. like whatever i do here it's going to do there so the first thing i want to show you is this is called the robot tool okay and it's how you control everything inside X shape. Okay. It's what you use to sculpt model and just make anything really happen. Um, so the arrows move things up. Okay. I can select the surface. I could select just an edge. See these arrows right here. I love the robot tool, by the way. Uh, it just, it works perfectly for me. I can also select like vertices or just a couple of vertices, a group of them if I want. Also, it's a great place to scale. Like, see how large this square is? What I can do is I can just select everything and then hold down Alt and drag one of these dots and it's going to scale. Now, if I want to do a non-uniform scale, I just keep everything selected and I, I don't hold down any button. I just drag this in and you see how it's like squishing in and out? Now I'm getting a nice non-uniform scale. Another thing I can do, Todd, is rotate let's say i want to select all these and i want to rotate them back like a like this see i just grab see this outside arc yeah. anywhere on this outside arc i can grab and rotate it okay so that's kind of the basics and then you know you throw some extrudes some sub d's and that's all the tools you need to to make just about anything inside x shape you make it sound simple, and I like that. That's great. So basically, though, the robot, that's where you're going to push and pull, do all your sculpting. The arrows translate, the dots scale, and then right. the arcs rotate. And, yeah. you, and you, uh, it's what you select and how you push and pull it. Awesome. And Yeah, Todd, you see this inner ring right here, this shaded ring yeah. right in here? I can grab that at any time and drag it in any direction. That's like my move tool. Now, that's really yeah. powerful when we get more intense with the modeling okay uh and i'll show that in a second so first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to select both these services and just do, come down here and do an extrude all right i'm going to pop those guys out this is going to be the dog is going to be looking to my left okay and if you look at the chair up here the chair is very important that's where you get like your angles and everything that's going on so that's how i use my direction all right, so the dog is going this way. The trophy's going that way. Now I'm going to select this face in the front and do another extrude, okay? This is going to be the dog's legs. This dog is like, 
It's sitting on the bowl because it's the king, you know? It's the top dog, so that, baby. Clicking on that chair, then the faces that reorients the view uh, to those planes that you're selecting. So that's exactly you snap it I, the, okay. Gotcha. You know, say I select this edge and pulling it back, and it's like, oh man, I want to go back to my side view. I don't want to have to sit here and try to find it. I come up here, just select that chair, it snaps right to the side view. Here's something really important I want more segments in between here. So I'm going to right click. And I'm going to drag down to this right here. It's called insert edge loop. And then I just select perpendicular edge and it pops in the loop that I want. Okay. So now I have more detail and I can, I can really start to work this model, uh, how I want it to be, you know, uh, right away. It, you know, it no longer looks like a box, you know, for it's, sure. It's uh, not a box. <laughs> it is for sure. Not a box. And this is where we're sculpting. We're modeling. We're having fun. There's there's really no secrets, you know. I'm just well in the okay. So that extrude tool that you use down there, that's like taking a little chunk of clay and just sticking it on, and then you can start pushing and pulling with that. So it's just adding to. You're not like doing a sketch and extrude a certain distance or anything like an X design. You're just you just right. put a little lump. It 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 pops out a lump, and then you have more to push and pull. Right. So I can select the surface, and I can come right here. And that is the same as going down to the toolbar. So I'm just going to select that and it pops it out again. And then say, I want to do another one. I just do it again. Yeah. Like this is going to be the dog's nose, you know, and right. it doesn't look like much now, but I, with just a few tweaks of some uh, vertices here, uh, we can start to shape in. There we go. It's starting to get the neck in here. It's starting to look like a dog, right? Man, I'd have to say it's looking doggone good. <laughs> But seriously, one thing I'm seeing and learning is that you're usually grabbing a couple of vertices or an edge at a time and then using that planar translation tool from the robot to make little tweaks. <laughs> exactly, Todd. I just got to keep making minor adjustments and tweaks to see what's going to work for me. So I just mm -hmm. inserted a new edge loop and I can actually add more edge loops here. So let's say I wanted a whole bunch of them. Bam, we're going to build this arm out. And if I wanted to select this, this whole loop all the way around. One thing I could do is just double click it. See, and just double click. I'm control double clicking all those. Okay. And now this last one, because it's not a complete loop, I have to select it all control click. Now watch, okay. I can just uh, bring this in. Look at the big movements. That's what, that's what gets me so excited about like X shape is like to do this. Like back in the day, oh. it would have been like, Whoa, he's moving a lot at once, you know? Well, yeah. It keeps up with me. It's just very fluid, you know? Um, so like this is going to be the bottom of the paw, okay? So what I could do is crease that, okay? Now I don't have to crease. do a full crease command because it's not like the end, you know, I can hit this and it's going to kind of round it out and I can take a little bit off of that because it doesn't have to be super creased, right? It's just, that's going to be the right. bottom. I can rotate that, finesse that down and, you know, I can drag this up, but now you can see we kind of got the legs kind of coming in, you know? And we got some areas to like caress and work out, but that's that's all part of it, you know? Let's say, Todd, I wanted to select just the head. Okay, it's it's okay, I got just the head, but I got all this other stuff too. What if I wanted, you know, just around the neck? Well, this is the lasso tool, and here's how you access it. You click hold, drag down, and then drag back up. And you see how it instantly turns into a lasso tool? Okay. Isn't that cool? Now I can come around. Yeah. It's like just the head. Let go. And then like, look, I, I'm rotating just the head. And I want to scale the head. So I hold down alt, grab that circle, scale his head a little bit. And I realize, hey, I need more of a neck. I'm going to insert another loop here. Hit the check button. And then, you know, I'm, I'm off to the races. I'm uh, sculpting this. Sculpting this puppy dog. So now I got the ears cooking and this is what's going to make it look like a dog, you know, because without, without the ears, it, is it really a dog? It's hard to tell, you know, I'm just going to get some more definition here. Here we go. I got this one edge I'm gonna drag it out, grab this edge, drag it out. Starting to look like a dog, right? His nose needs some help. So here's, here's a good thing. Um, Let's say I want to click this and also select this at the same time. So I just hold down control 
And now I got both of those, okay? And I can get this bottom one. And now I can grab this dot and scale in. It's going to non-uniform scale, okay? Non-uniform scale up a little bit. Can go ahead and add more definition here. Get another edge loop in there. So let's talk about the tail. Like if I just extrude this just like that, that's going to be a really wide tail. Like that's no good, right? So watch what I could do. I can select this, this surface, and I can do the subdivide, okay? And it made, it's still the same surface pretty much, but it's divided. So when I go in here, I can kind of, pre, it's a preemptive strike on what I want that shape to be like, okay? It's, yeah. still, it's still that surface pretty much. Now I can select this, extrude that out, and now I'm off to the races, and we're making a puppy dog tail. I'm going to Alt-Drag that to scale it down, and I'm going to double-click this, rotate that, bring it over, give this little arc to it, right-click. Need more definition for more definition loot there. or whatever. Yeah, more control. Insert. So if like a control like on a spline or something would be like exactly. that. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And you know what? Less is always better. You know, we could really complicate this tail. But oh, so another thing is like, don't get stuck on the side, like just working on it like here. Constantly, yeah. when you're in 3D space sculpting and modeling, constantly spin around and, and get a good feel about what you're doing. Right away, I can see this tail from my top view. It's too wide. It needs to taper out a little bit at the end, you know? Yeah. And this, this needs to be brought up. I really like everything to flow. And what I mean by flow is like, uh, especially organic shapes like this, um, this straight line shot, I don't like it. I like to have more of like an arc or a bend. So I always go in and I, I purposely go around and make sure I don't have any straight lines. Okay. It's going to, it's going to help with the, with the natural flow of the sub D. So let's take a look at the grand scheme. Wow, that dog is way too big. Okay. <laughs> it's like, it's frightening how big it is. But with X shape, I can just, uh, you know, drag select everything, hold down alt, and scale this thing down. Look, uh, yeah. major, major yeah, movements can... like handles no problem. Fast, too. It's so fast. It's fast. <laughs> yeah. All right, Todd, I showed you my workflow inside X shape. And it's pretty simple and straightforward, right? Yeah, it, it really is. Uh, the way you laid it all out, I think I could follow those same kind of steps. Really, anybody that was starting out in X shape could do the same thing and, I mean, end up with some really cool models. Yeah, that's what it's about. It's about making really cool things. Um, you know what? I got a few elements I want to add to this model, and I want to tweak it just a little bit. And I think this thing's ready to go on to production. Oh, that's my favorite part, dude. Let's let's do it. <laughs> yeah, uh, I think we could start ordering the material and get ready to fire up that 3D printer. <laughs>